preparing to live stream. <laughs> Slow, getting there. It says it's streaming. Oh, is it? Okay, cool. Yeah. Yay. Oh, there we go. See, now it does this weird back thing or uh, feedback thing, but now, okay, we're good. Facebook minus the lives or the back feedback. That's the word. <laughs> First <laughs> Facebook Live. <gasps> Yay! Thank you. So jargon. many great things happening today. <laughs> All right, so stand by here. All right, let's do it. By Nicole Mangina of Windermere Real Estate. And this is my time. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 425 Show, your place to be for all things real estate and lifestyle related here on the East Side. I'm your host, Nicole Mangina with Windermere Real Estate. Today's real estate update. Oh my goodness, I had one of the funniest, not funny moments of my 25 year real estate career yesterday. Please, 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 please always hire a professional when you list your property. Um, we are not all created equal. So here's what happened yesterday. I'm looking at the listings, trying to find a property for my client and something pops up. I'm like, huh, seems a little high on the price, but whatever, let's, let's look at the pictures. Maybe it's worth it. I get to picture number three and it's a picture of just the fruit plate. Not the whole house, just the fruit plate, but the fruit plate is filled with rotten bananas. <laughs> you deserve better when you sell your house. <laughs> Nobody needs to take pictures of rotten bananas and then proudly display them for the whole world to see. Did you ever so, think maybe it was like a new angle on like selling? You just maybe throw well, out that random photo in there. I mean, in just my, I'm just thinking it's possible. My first maybe. thought was, well, maybe they got a new range and they want to tell me about the amazing ah. banana bread I can make. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the range is 20 years old. <laughs> this is no special range. <laughs> That's banana bread on the street, folks. Come exactly. check it out. Exactly. <laughs> nice. Uh, so yes, anyway, we're not all created equal. Um, yes, this property will sell, right? Let's be real, they're gonna sell it. It's not a question of can you sell it or not? Will they leave money on the table? And will it be a bumpier ride? A hundred percent than if you just hired an agent who knew what they were doing. So that's my word to the wise for today. No rotten bananas in your pictures. Um, if you have questions about buying or selling, I highly encourage you to reach out. You can find me via email, Nicole at NicoleMangina.com. There you go. Without further ado, let's talk about some super fun stuff today. We have Kamisha Jackson with Luna Versal on the show. Thank you for joining us today. How are you? Thank you for having me. I'm doing well. How about yourself? Absolutely. I, I'm doing great. Um, and I'm excited, well, I'm excited to have you on the show for lots of reasons, but you are the antithesis of what I just talked about because you make stunningly gorgeous jewelry. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> for all kinds of things. So um, yes, now we're gonna flip the switch. So tell us about Lunaversal. Um, how did you get started? What is it? All the good stuff. Oh goodness. So, um... I got started. Um, I well, before I was working as an artist for a video game company, and um, so uh, I was working on projects on the side for myself. Mm -hmm. And so my birthday was coming up, and I decided I wanted to make a piece of jewelry. And uh, so I went over to the, the local Michaels and purchased some beads. And mm -hmm. I've never made jewelry before, so I decided to give it a go. And um, I made a bracelet and then I went back to the store to buy more supplies and a lady stopped me in the store and she said, oh my goodness, where did you get that bracelet? And I and said, when you made? And it's the made one I just made. That's and I awesome. said, oh, I made it. And she was like, you, you made this. And I said, yes. And she's like, do you have any more? And I know. She's like, are you going to make any more? No. Well, can I buy the one off your wrist? And... <laughs> 
I was like, seriously? She's like, yes. So I sold it to her. Um, I, bought some, I bought some more supplies, went home, did the same thing. This time it was earrings. And I went to a poetry event and same thing. I love those earrings. Where'd you get them? Made them and the girl bought them out of my ears. <laughs> You gotta stop wearing jewelry. Everything's gonna buy it off you. <laughs> so, you know, and they, she said, well, you should go into business for yourself. And I was like, oh, I, you know, I'm not, I, you know, I don't have time for that. So my birthday was coming up again and I had to make another piece and I decided, well, you know what? Um, you know, maybe I should try to make a couple pieces and see how it goes. Um, so I made, I believe it was a, two bracelets and a couple pairs of earrings and I listed them on Etsy. Mm -hmm. And um, right after that, I wanna say within a couple of weeks, I was contacted by the Smithsonian Institute. Oh my and, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> and you went so, from like, just hanging out. I think I'll try and make some jewelry to like, boom, big time. To boom, yes. <laughs> and then um, I thought it was like a scam, so I ignored it. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, she contacted me again and uh, we spoke and she put in an order for 4,000 pieces of jewelry. Oh, wow. And she wanted it in four months. Okay. And I had no idea how to make jewelry and I was not sure what I was going to do. And something told me to, to do it. So I did. Love it. <laughs> and I was <laughs> And I, and I cried and stressed out through that whole process because I was trying to make this order and it was something I've never done before, but I managed to complete the order and I got the jewelry out. And that uh, is amazing. I mean, that's amazing on so many levels, but also so inspiring that you just, that you had the courage to say yes. That's a big first, deal. But I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was a lot of conversations I had to have with myself, but. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I pushed my way through it and I got it done. And then um, I want to say a few months later, I got a really nice check in the mail and most of the jewelry sold. So I had a small amount left, um, under a hundred pieces left out of that 4,000. Wow. And I decided, well, what am I going to do with all this jewelry? And so I decided to open, start Universal. Mm -hmm. um with it and um things were quiet at first and then just jewelry just started flying like just right off of Etsy like just I just started making all these sales and then um I was getting to a point where the projects for the company that I was working with because I had so much art that I had to do yeah and then I had this you know I had more orders for jewelry and it was just starting to get a little out of control and I couldn't balance both. So I decided I had to choose one. And so I chose the jewelry. <gasps> wow. How was that? That was very scary. I I didn't know it. <laughs> and then like, <laughs> after that, I got contacted by the big, the TV show, the biggest loser. And they wanted jewelry for one of the contestants. So. I watched yeah. that show. When do they wear jewelry? I guess they must. When I had the winner, when I choose the oh, winner. Oh, got it. And, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Like I so need that to was my game. Apparently, I need to be wearing jewelry <laughs> to the show. <laughs> well, yeah. So, you know, and so then I just stick, stuck with it's been, I started in 2007 and I've been going strong ever since. That is amazing. That is so incredibly cool. Um, if you are listening to the show, well, even if you're watching the Facebook live version of the show, you have to go and look at Kamisha's Instagram because you have, you need to see this jewelry. It really is so unique and so beautiful. Um, there's no way to just describe it with words. And so on Instagram, you're Lunaversal, right? At Lunaversal, yes. At Lunaversal. So it's Luna, like the moon, L-U-N-A, and then Versal, V-E-R-S-O-U-L. That's correct, so, yes. Yeah, Lunaversal, go check it out. The most amazing things. Um, that is the most remarkable story of how it all came together for you. And I'm, you know, I just love, I love hearing people's stories no matter what, but especially when it's like, you just kind of followed the nudges, what showed yes. up and you're like, okay, here's where I'm at. And let's try this. And 
to just keep leaning into it, I think is amazing. Yeah, yes. And I just, it, it was just such a, like the whole, the, how everything just came together just by taking all those chances. Yes. You know, it, it, it was such a big step for me. And because I made those steps, I ended up doing something that I love for a living. I mean, I didn't know I would, you know, love making jewelry. I've been doing art and drawing and painting since I was two. Oh, and that's so, amazing. Yeah, and so I always thought that that would be my path, you know. Right. And, but I ended up designing jewelry instead. And I mean, I've got to cross off so many of my um, goals just by doing that. Like I, I made jewelry for I have Erica Badu, which is Ooh. one of my favorite singers. And uh, I've been able to put pieces on other celebrities as well. And then I've got to do New York, New York Fashion Week and wow. uh, LA Fashion, like I've been, you know, I got in Vogue and uh -huh. I got in, you know, is this, you know, uh, Forbes. So a lot of really great opportunities came for, um, from taking this one chance, you know, just trying something that I've never, I've never done before and just going with it. I love it. How would you describe your style and the type of jewelry that you make? So I, I, I really don't, I really don't know how to describe my style <laughs> because I, I don't like to stick with one thing. Right. I like to change. I like to change things up. Um, everything is so. I just call it eclectic because I just pull from so many different different uh, things. Uh, in I get inspired by uh, so many different things, and so it's hard to put it in a box. And yeah. so all my designs are like pretty are pretty different because I like they to try. Are. Well, they things. are. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like a lot of I I work with a lot of magazines and when they do shoots, they they constantly use my pieces because they're so versatile and you can use do it with so many different looks with them. And so they're, I try yeah. to keep keep that. So it's kind of hard to you know put okay. it in one category. Well, I'm glad because I was trying to figure out how I was going to describe it. The only thing I would say is you, they tend to be more statement pieces. Yes. Um, Yes. They're, you know, they're a little bit bigger that you have really cool textures and structural elements to your jewelry. So it's not the, you know, the, like the little things that you get where you can, little delicate dainty stuff. It's, it's bigger, but I think that's what's amazing about it. It's like, this is a piece of, you know, the whole kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I do um, a variety of things. Like I, I've done a little smaller pieces too. Mm -hmm. But people tend to gravitate towards the larger pieces, you know. You, just, you have so much detail and so many interesting elements in your jewelry that um, you just, you want to see them. So it's, I think it's great that they're bigger because you really want to marvel at them all. There's, um, yeah, I was on your Instagram page, just like every single picture. I'm like, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. pretty darn cool. <laughs> Where do you draw your inspiration from? When you're doing your different pieces and, you know, trying to create and decide, okay, what would I do? And where would I get them from? Do you have different um, elements that you pull from to do that? Yes, it could be, it could be anything. It's so hard to just choose one thing, but I could, I could, I could see a person on the street and I would uh -huh. look at their outfit and I could visually put together a piece just looking at them. But That's I amazing. gotta I gotta do it, you know, discreetly because I don't want to <laughs> <laughs> like, why is that lady staring at me? You know, but I can see somebody that, you know, I can visually create a piece and then I can go home and I have that in mind and I'll create that piece. Mm -hmm. Um, so it could be a person, it could be um the weather, it could be a mood, it could be anything. It could be a building. Like I could, I could look at the structure of a building and focus on one part of that structure and then switch it around and then create something based off of that. So it that all such, that's such a talent and a gift. Um, we talked about your Instagram at Luniversal 
um, on Instagram, but if people wanted to go and check out more of your jewelry um, to see, find a piece for themselves, what's the best way for them to do that? Um, right now, they can go to my website at lunaversal.com. Okay. Yes, that's perfect. The best way right now. <laughs> okay, perfect. And in non-COVID times, you've got a workshop in Renton, you said. That yes, I have a small well? shop in yeah, and written, and you can make appointments to come in and and view the jewelry and and make purchases purchases there. So, um, oh, good. Yes. Yeah, and that's that's amazing. Um, and again, we have Kamisha Jackson with Lunaversal on the show with us today. The most stunning jewelry I think I've ever seen. Um, so I highly encourage you to follow her on Instagram just for some fun and inspiration, but to go check things out at your place in Renton, I think would be amazing as well, because it's such, you put so much detail um, into your work that I think to see it up close and personal would be fantastic as well. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. So do you have any big projects you're working on right now or kind of fun things coming up? Um, I have some top secret product projects I'm working on right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you heard it first here, but we're not going to give you all the details. And um, I'm, yeah, there's uh, some fashion weeks I'm preparing for right now, mm -hmm. which I'm really excited about. Um, but uh, um, uh, hopefully they'll, they'll happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I feel like we're getting there. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we're slowly getting there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm I'm really excited about um, the new pieces. I'm I'm going. I'm making larger pieces, if you can believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Wearable art. I love it. Which you know, like I said, you tend to have bigger pieces to begin with. So if they're even larger, I think that's that's great. Though. Yes. Yes, I, I, there was, was one particular piece that I made um, for a fashion week and um, I was so intent on making, I couldn't, I was so inspired and I just couldn't stop working on this piece. And it ended up being one of the most amazing things I ever made. And it was a full dress, but it was made out of chain. I saw that on your that, picture. That was so cool. <laughs> I, that was, that piece took me a week to make. I would have thought like 10 years. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> well, well, I meant no sleep, you know, so I just, yeah. yeah. And that's so amazing. my goal is to surpass that piece. So, well, I cannot wait to see what you come up with because that was pretty spectacular. Thank you. <laughs> that's so Cool. And yeah, it is. And that was the other thing that I thought was really fascinating to see your pictures and look at what you have on your Instagram. It's, it, you've, you've turned it into dresses and necklaces and kind of cool collars. I mean, it's just, it's so much more than just like you're buying a necklace. It's pretty cool. Yes. yes. Wearable art. So, where It is wearable art. And I feel like, you know, as all of us are dipping our toe into like the travel thing and you know, reconnecting with people. I think we all need some wearable art right now to just feel a little extra special and shine. Excellent. So that's amazing. So again, we've got uh, Kamisha Jackson with Lunaversal on the show with us today. She has the most beautiful Instagram. I highly encourage you to just follow her at Lunaversal on Instagram. Uh, maybe you want to do some shopping. Uh, you can go to her Redmond or Renton uh, store as well. We'll have links to everything on our website after the show, nicolemangina.com forward slash podcast, including a picture of the dress that you were just talking about because oh, it yeah. is spectacular. <laughs> and it's, worth, it's worth seeing. <laughs> so it'll give us all inspiration for how we kind of want to, it feels like we're all having coming out parties now that we're all coming out of yes. our houses, right? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I think that would be a perfect coming out dress. Although you all might, I don't know, depending on where you went with the COVID carbs, might need a couple trips to the gym before you go. <laughs> <laughs> don't wear that dress. <laughs> <laughs> but when you, you have a big statement piece on, then no one will notice anything, this right? This is true. <laughs> that and some spanks and you are good to go. 
<laughs> do you do you still have your Etsy site or no? I, now you I don't. Have your own website. Yeah, it's yeah. On the website for now, yes. yes. Yeah, there's and there's all kinds of cool stuff on there. Um, do you have set hours if people wanted to come to your Benton, or they just reach out to you and make an appointment? You just reach out and make an appointment. Um, okay. Yeah, they can just uh, contact me on my website and just put in they want to make an appointment, and we can go from there. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, and you do, do you have any, I, this is probably a silly question to ask, but do you have like favorite things that you like making or favorite materials or themes that keep popping up? Well, um, right now, um, so there was a piece that I created uh, for 425 Magazine. Mm -hmm. uh, it was on the cover. I believe I sent you a photo of that. But um, that was made out of, um, it was part of a challenge that they had to uh, make uh, wearable art out of recycled materials. Oh, yeah, and that's right. Yes, and that challenge was a challenge. <laughs> and it was so fun. And just the whole process of, I don't want to make it sound weird, but digging through, you know, the recycle. <laughs> through the yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, taking trips to the landfill and really, like, I, we took a trip to the landfill and, you know, and I was so, I, 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 is, I was able to look at things in a different pers perspective. And so I was able to take that home and create this piece. And um, just making something beautiful out of uh, these recycled materials, it was such a fun experience. And I, I'm gonna do it again, just for oh, no that's... reason. I'm just gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you came up with the first time was great. And what were the different materials that you ended up using then? Oh, I used, I had this wire that I found uh, this metal mesh wire cover that I found from, from Boeing. Mm -hmm. um, so I used some of that. I used uh, bottle caps, uh, the little milk caps, uh -huh. and I had like uh, fabric samples that I got from a curtain, from curtains. Like a, oh, amazing. Curtain. Yeah. Um, and I, I've used uh, seeds, beads, uh, just anything you can think of. That's I in love it. it. <laughs> How so, cool! And, and what a neat experience. I mean, I think that's good for all of us. It's that whole: how do you see things differently than yes. you do every day? Right? We all, without even realizing it, we see things a certain way, or we categorize them a certain way, and to deliberately show up and decide, I'm going to view this differently. I'm going to view this as material for a phenomenal piece of art and jewelry. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it really, you know, it really, it was, it really made you think of things differently and, and how to use these regular household items in a different way where it could just come, you know, look spectacular, just make a spectacular piece. And so that really inspired me. And my mom inspired me as well because my mom used to uh, make costumes and things out of household items for different events that she had to do for work and things. And so mm -hmm. I used to watch her do it. And, um, and hand sew it. And so I had to hand sew everything as well. Oh my goodness. And I didn't have a pattern or anything. So I just had to figure it out on my way, you know, just sewed the whole thing. And it uh -huh. just turned out way better than I expected. So I'm just really proud of that piece in particular. You should be, I saw a picture of it, it's stunning. Um, and how cool, I mean, I, so I have deep, immense respect for creative people. <laughs> <laughs> do these things. These are not genes I was born with, but I greatly admire and respect them and others because that is, to me, it's just so cool. You, I guarantee you could give me the same materials and it would not look the same. <laughs> oh. <laughs> thanks to my mom because I, I come from an art, artist family. So it's, you know. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm cool. And I just, yeah, I love it. And I love hearing your progression, especially that you worked sounds like for a long time really in 2D things and all of a sudden you're in this 3D or really 4D element of you know working with all these different materials and creating different things that's pretty cool and because of this in in is because I'm doing so many different things I'm trying like uh 
a different, uh, like I'm, you know, molding, sculpting clay, items out of clay now and wow. uh, doing some more metal smithing and things like that. So I'm just adding to my toolbox, you know, and creating different and new pieces that I've never tried or done before. So I'm really excited about. And that's pretty cool. I mean, even, and I think that's one of what I think makes your art so, be or your jewelry so beautiful is, um, again, really to get in there and look at the pictures. And like you said, you, you really can't be pigeonholed because you're, you're always doing different things. And I think that's great. I would imagine that's what makes it more fun for you as well. But then to go, it's like, you know, a treat every time to go in and look at whatever you've created, because it's, the only thing you know is it's going to be something different than what you created right. before. And I think there's a lot to be said for that, because I think especially what you've been in business 14 years now, a lot of times people just find their groove and you just kind of make more of the same thing. And you're still out there doing this stuff. Yeah, I can't believe it's been so long. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and that's pretty good. That means you wrote it through like the downturn in 2008 and everything. So that's, that's saying something. You should be very, very proud of yourself. <laughs> that is so cool. And so, um, else people should know about Lunaversal? Anything we haven't chatted about today? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Isn't it funny? It's so hard to talk about yourself. You're like, I don't know. It, I it really what I is. Do. And it just turns out awesome. That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the work, you know, just look at the jewelry, you know. <laughs> yeah, enough said. <laughs> so, all right. We super encourage you to do that. If you have enjoyed listening to the show, Kamisha Jackson of Lunaversal, some of the most spectacular jewelry you will ever see. You can follow her on Instagram at Lunaversal, her website, lunaversal.com. Um, she does have a place in Renton if you want to go see it live and in person, and you can reach out to her via the website um, to make that appointment. We will, of course, have links to everything on our website after the show nicolemangina.com forward slash podcast, including a picture of that most stunning, spectacular dress that you talked about. Pretty cool that you've decided, oh, well, instead of a necklace, let's just turn this into like a whole thing. Yes, yes. <laughs> so thank you for joining us, everybody, this week. I hope you found out something new and amazing about life in the 425. And if you need to sell your house and you want to skip the rotten banana pictures, be sure to reach out. Nicole at NicoleMangina.com. Take care, everybody. Make it a great week. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. All right, ladies, all clear.